the phrase five, it starts the same way on left hand, one five one technique with the same chord. The right hand plays the different melody line. One two one. You may have heard this melody line. One two one two one two. In this phrase, you have to be careful with your fingerings. To connect the notes, you have to use a certain fingerings. Now let's see what kind of fingering is used. Right hand start with the C on finger number five, four, five, and E. Skip two, skip, and then after that the C is the ball. But we have to use finger number one like this. Do you see? Yes, we're just crossing under the finger number one so that we can prepare the last of fingerings for going up higher. And skip, and skip, and step up. I'm holding all the notes to show you what kind of note is played. Right? And then after that, the next one is skip down to F, but you use finger number four instead of three. So that we can say more fingers. Two, four, step down, down, down. And here is another fingering. Step down to B. Use finger number four. Three, two, one. Five, five, two, four, step down. That's the fifth phrase. Now let's play both hands together. Start from the five, phrase five. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, four. And right hand under the finger number one. One, two. And then right hand goes to G and left hand goes to E. Right hand starts on F, left hand on F2. Step down and C, left hand. And A and F. Five. And step down. Two. This is phrase five. Now we will move it on to the phrase six. The left hand is exactly the same as phrase five and four. Right hand changed a little bit, adding the eighth notes. So start with G, E, F. And next important thing is the fingering here. After the three, you have to play a finger number one under the three so that you can go up smooth. Do you see? You have to be able to play a G G. Practice a couple of times this part and edit the next one. Otherwise, if you have trouble playing this part, then you will have the same trouble over and over again whenever you get to the part. Normally, the problem is coming from the fingerings, not from the notes. So you have to be careful with your fingerings. One, two, three, and then go under. Finger number one, and going up. Remember this finger technique. It's really important in this song. Now moving on to the next, A minor. So same rhythm patterns coming back again, quarter, eighth, quarter, eighth. B, C, B, B, and you go down to E. Step up G, but you have to use finger number one. Don't forget that. And then go to the C. And the second rhythm patterns, quarter, eighth, quarter, eighth. And then cross it over finger number three here. And then three again. And then cross it under finger number one. And the last rhythm pattern is coming back again. A quarter, eighth, quarter, eighth, quarter.
So this part is one of the hardest one because of the fingering and because of the rhythm. Now let's see both hands together. Part six. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Seven, which is the left hand is the same of one five one pattern with the same chord. The right hand is changing a little bit with the different melody lines. One, two, three, four, one step up, down, down, and play it chord. Two, three, and same E, but with finger number three, so that you can play a B and E minor chord. Step up. Here is flat. So C and B flat with finger number four. So this is one of the hardest fingerings to play it. So you have to remember and turn right away. Three, four, and the next note is C chord, but E G C. You play it like this. You see, a C chord is a C E G. But the C is moving off to this top. That's what this chord is. We chord inversions. Inversions mean changing positions within a chord. We're gonna learn that one later a little bit. So you will learn soon. But this is inversion. Two, three, and play the middle note G and F chord. Start with the C, B flat, A, B flat here and G. Now, we have G and B. How are we going to play it? 2-4. Slide it down, finger number 4 like this. Do you see it? Slide it down. 1, 2, 3, 4. Instead of leave it, just slide it down. Record sliding technique. This technique is used to connect the melody lines most. So remember, this is really helpful and important techniques too. Now let's go back to phrase seven and play it both in together. So left hand is the same pattern. The right hand is E and G. So one, two, three, four, and left hand G. seventh phrase. So if you go by phrase by phrase, it's much easier than you just play a whole entire song from the beginning to the end. And phrase eight is coming back again, the same thing from phrase three. So the same thing comes back again. from the previous one. 
left hand step up G and right hand plays the C. And do you see the very last one? Arrow like this going up. That means you play from bottom note to the top one at a time. C, C, B, G, C. So you play it one note at a time instead of playing a whole bunch of chords at the same time. I'm going to tell you important practice tip. First, practice left hand only. And remember the left hand chord pattern. Memorize the left hand pattern with the right fingerings, then add your right hand. Phrase by phrase. Go. And then third, practice by phrase by phrase. From the phrase 4 to the end phrase, block the left hand. So play it 1 5 1 at once and play it right hand. That way, you remember the left hand position and just focusing on your right hand. Position. as it is. This is really good practice tip. The last part is the pedaling. When you play a pattern, don't add the pedal from the beginning. Once you can play a whole entire song from beginning to the end, well, then the very last part is the pedal. You add a pedal when you can play it well and you know the notes very well. And when you add a pedal, change the pedal every measure, just like along the chord. I didn't use any pedal at the beginning. Since you're playing the simple notes, you can just connect with your fingerings instead of use pedal. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then I added, I started from here. You hold it, pedal, and then you move it on to the next one so that even if I leave my hands, this G is wrinkling it. And then move it on to the next C and then switching it right away. Play it, switch. Play, switch. Play, switch. Do you remember the pattern technique? Yes, you have to change the pattern right after you play it, not before or not at the same time. Play and switch. Play and switch. The same way. Play and switch, and then you have to drop. Play, switch, and then so your pedal goes right between the first beat and the second beat. Do you see? The same way, all the way through the song. Now, except the part six, which has eighth note. So your pedal has to be changed right after quarter. That one, you have to quickly change. So your pedal goes right after quarter, and then at the second beat, right after, between G and G. Changing it and then play a G. Change. Change between G and A. So you have to move as fast as possible. 
When you practice the song, try not to play it too fast. And the very last tip is when you play, shift it as a unit. See it? Since it's coming from the chord, don't play it each note. Then it will be sound really ugly. So you will have to play it as gentle as possible. Drop as a unit. Do you see my hand and how I play it? Drop, drop, drop. So play it as a unit. Don't play it each single note, but play it as group of the notes. Got it? How do you like the song? It's really good, right? I hope you enjoy playing the song. And if you have any trouble playing it, just let me know. I will give you more tips. And I heard it's really, really hot out there in Korea. So stay cool and we'll see you next week. Bye.